Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today in this video, I'm gonna show, how to configure OpenCore EFI for dual booting Mac OS Sonoma and any Linux distribution. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for the latest updates. So without a further ado, let's get started. Currently on this system, Ubuntu, and Mac OS are installed, but you can see, that only the Mac boot drive is showing here. To configure dual boot, boot to Mac OS first. For configuring dual boot, you'll need any plist editor, and an open core package, of course the latest release. Now before proceeding, I'm assuming that you have a full-fledged working and updated EFI for your target PC. If you want to create EFI for yourself, or want to update your EFI, follow the guide from the I button. Now mount your ESP, and make sure to delete all the files related to any Linux distribution, under the EFI partition. Only there should be EFI created for Mac OS, which includes a boot and an OC folder. Now go to the drivers folder, under EFI's OC folder. Now here, you'll need to place the following drivers from the open core packages driver folder, under the x64, EFI, OC. After placing the drivers, open the config plist, and then add the newly placed drivers. After adding the drivers, arrange them in the correct order, as shown, and also, set false under the load early column, for both the drivers. Now in the UEFI tab, go to the quirk section, and here make sure that request boot var routing quirk is enabled. If not, enable it. Now go to the miscellaneous tab and under the boot section, and set the launcher option to full or enabled. Also enable the hide auxiliary option. Now everything is done, save your plist, and you're good to go. Now let me show that the created EFI is working as expected. And here at Open Core Boot Picker, you can see, the Ubuntu option is also appearing. Now reset the NVRAM by pressing the spacebar key, to unhide the auxiliaries. And now, let me boot to Ubuntu. And as you can see, Ubuntu has been booted successfully. Now let me boot to Mac OS.
And as you can see, macOS has also been booted successfully. So that was it, hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, just comment down below, or create a thread on our forum. Make sure to check out the forum for in-depth guides. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.